Welcome back on Info for Triple E and you are watching a series on Basics of MATLAB Simlink. This is 36th video of this series in which we will discuss about sample and hold block in MATLAB Simlink and you are with Paramjit Singh Jamba. First of all, we will discuss how sample and hold block works. A sample and hold block have two input terminals. First one is in and second one is as. Suppose I am taking a triangular signal at the in terminal of sample and hold block. And suppose this input signal is varying from 0 to 1. And I am considering the threshold value of 0.5 and a logic I am considering is input should be greater than or equal to threshold and that is 0.5. So there will be three conditions. First one will be when input is varying from 0 to 0.5. During this condition, this logic will be false. So a low signal will be applied at the S terminal of sample and hold block. So its output will be its initial condition that it is 0.25. For second condition from 0.5 to 1 and 1 to 0.5, this logic becomes true and a high signal will be fed at the S terminal of sample and hold block. So it will pass on the same input at the output that is 0.5 to 1 and 1 to 0.5. For third condition when input vary from 0.5 to 0, this logic becomes false. So a low signal will be applied across the S terminal of sample and hold block. So it will hold on the last value that is 0.5. So now moving towards the practical session on MATLAB. In this video, I will use the simulation file which I have created in 20th video of this series. So first of all, open that simulation file and save this simulation file with different name. First of all, I am updating the settings of repeating sequence block to set the value of triangular signal. So our Triangular signal is varying from 0 to 0 0.1 and then 0.1 to 0.2. It is a time and its value is varying from 0 to 1 to 0. Now close it. Now disconnect this sine wave and max block from the simulation and connect this repeating sequence block output terminal with the first input terminal of the scope block. Now disconnect this relational operator block from the circuit and place it aside. Now we need a sample and hold block. For that just go to library browser and go to Simscape power system specialized technology then fundamental blocks, control and measurements and go to additional components. So this is our sample and hold block. So just select and drag it into the simulation file. Now place it at the input side and connect its output to the second input of scope block and connect its in terminal with the output of repeating sequence block. Now click on sample and hold block to update its parameter. First one is initial condition. In our case, we are considering 0 0.25 initial condition. For sample time, just click on scope block and check its sample time, what we have taken in this. We have taken one microsecond. So just copy this sample time and 
paste it in the parameter setting of sample and whole block. Now to set the logic for sample and whole block, we are going to use relational operator block. So just connect its output to the S terminal of sample and whole block. Now click on relational operator block to update its logic. And we are using relational operator that is greater than or equal to. Now close it by clicking on OK button. Now connect its first input with the output of repeating sequence block. And to connect its second output, we need a constant block. So just go to library browser and go to sources. So this is the constant block. So just drag this block into the submission file and connect its output to the second input of relational operator block. In our case, we are considering the threshold of 0.5. So update its value to 0.5. And in our solution, we are taking sample time of one microsecond. So I'm pasting the sample time here. Now close it by clicking on OK button. So now our simulation is ready. Just save this simulation and run this simulation. Now click on scale X and Y axis limits. Now you can clearly see that the input is 0 to 0.5, the output is 0.25, that is initial condition. From 0.5 to 1 and 1 to 0.5, our output is same as input. And from 0.5 to 0, our output is saturated at 0.5, that is the last value. So this is sufficient for today. I am thankful to ABM Apexel for his wonderful words. If this video is useful to you, then like and share it. If you have any query or suggestions, then let me know through your comments. If you want to get a notification about our upcoming videos, then subscribe our channel and click on bell icon. Thank you for being with us.